So you guys asked for it. You asked for a video where I explain what happened to my channel, um, what brings you guys here, and the steps that I took to get there. And I do my makeup at the same time. Welcome to my channel. And yeah, ba Bailey Sarian is going to sue the pants off of me. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to explain all that um, while I'm doing my makeup. It all started 2009, and I was not working at a dead-end job, but, you know, working at Home Depot. So, and I said, okay, this is, this has got to stop. Can't, can't do this. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to start selling my products. So after I started selling my products, then I'm going to put this on first. This is going to help. You can't really see it, but this is going to help lay my eyebrows down. It's soap. It's brow soap. So I said, you know what? I want to sell my stuff. And, um, then when I did, then when I did that, um, I did that for about a couple of years, like selling crochet stuff and jewelry and all that good jazz. So after I did that for a couple of years, setting up a markets here in Raleigh, um, I said, you know what? I said, you know what? I'm like, I can't keep doing this. I'm just way too old for this. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to start teaching crochet. That's how it started. It was teaching crochet online and um, sometimes in person. And so I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do a bunch of videos. Then I started realizing, of course, I, you know, naturally, I had so many different different things I like to do that um, I was like, you know what, let me try to teach something else. And so I did Procreate videos, I did all these other di different videos. So. I was like, you know what, but I can do more than that. So I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna cover up my little spots here. I have a few. It's weird, because sometimes we notice the spots, like I would notice the spots before anybody else would notice them. Even if I point them out, people are like, I don't really see it, but we, we, we see it. Okay. We see our own spots. So I'm just going to cover those up real quick. And so I said to myself, you know what, let's do something else. So I went and I said, oh, let me try to do some um, videos on jewelry making because I, you know, I used to do that professionally with a jeweler in my area. And so I said, I'm pretty, pretty dangerous. Let's see what I can do, right? And so I was like thinking, well, what um, jewelry things can I teach other people? And I'm like, I almost wanna, you know, look towards and help the beginner. And for some reason, up until that point, um, my husband has been editing my videos. And I think, and I truly do think this, he used to like set up my camera, put it in the right spots, make sure this is going on, make sure you have that, and da, 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 right? But then one day I said, I really want to do this video. He's at work. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to set up my camera. I set it up in a weird spot in my room here. And I said, you know what? Um, I'm going to do this myself. And it's so strange because um, there was a very first video video that I did myself. Um, I was trying to get away with get away from the you know the typical you know how sometimes when you're on a video and you're teaching someone and you're trying to keep it professional. I said to myself, "You're not professional." Back to makeup, get yourselves, I got this little cheap 
concealer palette thing it's even though it says 3d contour whatever what have you the thing about this is is that it's cheap you only need it for some spots underneath i use i use this one i use the darkest darkest one to cover up my spots which is good because um i'm like really dark right here and like kind of on the sides of my face too and it just it just blends in it just works for me okay y'all can't see it so I use that dark one for my dark spots and then I use like one of these two to like, I do this for my eyebrows and then I use this one. I use this one, even though it looks really, really white, it really isn't, it has a little bit of brown tone to it. Believe it or not, it's just my lighting. Um, and I use that to, to um, prime my eyes before I put on eyeshadow. Who would have thunk it? What? So anyway, so these are all dry, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick. I don't know why, I just like to do my eyebrows, okay? I'll just put on and whatever. See, I told you, didn't I tell you that it's not, I don't, I'm not a little normal when it comes to my makeup, but anyway. So I'm just going to, I don't like to put foundation on. Um, I just put my finishing powder, it's just, that's it. Believe it or not, I just put finishing powder on my face do what I want I don't like to have layers on my face that drives me crazy so so I put just finishing powder with the concealer the darker concealer and just like mix those all up and that's that so that's what I'm doing right now anyway so I wanted to do videos that are geared to people who are beginners who are just starting out like literally I walked into the store one day and I said I want to do jewelry and that is why those are the people that I was reaching out to and I didn't realize that there were so many of those people out there so it just it just hit so that's one thing that really hit I think that was like the one thing that really did hit not only that um in this video I decided like I was saying that I was I was gonna get away from that stiffness and just be like just be yourself I mean that's the one thing I can encourage anybody who's really thinking about um, starting a YouTube channel is to just think about you as a person you know if you're stiff you're stiff whatever um, I, I can't help you there but um if you have a personality but sometimes you like put it under wraps like I do um just let it just let it be like I literally when I was editing that video um I I truly didn't feel like I cut too much stuff out of who I was I just left it in there and and then all the videos that happened or came out afterwards were getting a lot of views too as a result because those people are coming in from that jewelry video, the top 10 jewelry video. And so, um, and a lot of it has to do with just me coming to that conclusion that morning. And it's so funny when I look back on that video, I'm like, I ain't put no makeup on. I had no hair. I really wasn't caring. It was just like, oh my goodness. I wouldn't be caught. Dead. Can I help you? Do you live here? He's like, I do now. But it's like, I just never really thought about, oh, let's do this and let's do that. Let me make sure that I look pretty. I, um, no, I didn't do any of that. Do I did none of that. What is that? What do you mean? So I like to take, sometimes I like to brighten up under my eyes. Seems a little dark today. Yeah, that looks good. I hate this sponge. This sponge is the worst. I don't know where, oh, okay. 
So the sponge is the worst. So I like to spread it on. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Looks crazy. But we're all crazy. But anyway, so this is just a concealer to put underneath. And I'm just going to spread it in and whatever's. So, you know, in my mind's eye, I'm thinking, what am I doing? And I remember, um, I remember editing this video and looking at this video as I was going and I was like, oh my God, I am crazy. What am I doing? This is like the worst idea ever. This is the worst idea you ever had. And I didn't tell my husband I was going to do it. I mean, he, he, he trusts me. So, you know, I probably did. I can't remember. But what I do remember is that, you know, I didn't tell him what I was planning on doing. So he was all like, completely didn't know what was going on okay so I edited this video and I put it up and nothing happened nothing at all nothing happened so then I really wasn't thinking that anything magical was gonna happen not at all I wasn't thinking that at all so um, I didn't do any like weird hashtags. I didn't do anything that was just like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I didn't know what I was doing. So um, then I took everything that I have in that video that I showed, I did a Amazon affiliate thing. So I started that. Then I started doing, um, adding things to the channel to like make it more squishy I don't know just 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 spicing things up you know and making it easy for people to go and find the products that I featured in that video which is what you should do and I didn't know that until going in and I told my husband what I wanted to do he set it all up for me and so then I started to you know push that out and people started then all of a sudden, I think it was around, I want to say, December 2020. So during the pandemic, okay, I wasn't even thinking about it. By then, I think I put out about a good 20 to 30 videos. We're talking 20 to 30 videos later. All of a sudden, I started getting an influx a people there's there was an influx of people who were looking to learn a new craft which is exactly what I was looking for they had time they had the energy they had the funds to do so and they said I want to learn how to do jewelry and my video popped up in the algorithm and so when it popped up then they were like what my video will pop up but there will be others popping up like fire mountain gems you know all the jewelry making businesses and um youtube channels all had the same subject okay let's be clear all these other jewelry channels they all had the same thing of what i had so i can't really say that that is my title that i came up with so anyway so they were all popping up in the champ in the um, feed when they would search that term you know making jewelry for first time beginners jewelry things I wish I knew and stuff like that when they put that in there what ends up happening is I'm in there with fire mountain gems memory keepers bead landing bead along and so I was in that whole genre of jewelry making so they were already watching all these videos and so they're watching all these not saying that they're stiff but um they were watching all these stiff videos where people are like now do it like this and do it on and then you twist it like this and then you cut the wire here and it i vowed to myself from that day forward that I was not going to do that anymore. Bronco, dude, what are you doing? Who gave you a paper towel roll? 
I gave myself a paper towel roll. So you will be hearing that during this video. And I vowed, I said, I am not going to be stiff. I just do it as if you were having a glass of wine with your friend. You're, she's over for the night and she says, I wanna learn how to do jewelry. And I said, okay, cool, get all my stuff out. I'd be like, I don't know how much you need about this much would be good. You know, so I knew in my mind, that's what I was gonna do. I was just gonna be as natural as possible. And there was no if, ands, or buts about it that I can't, I couldn't be any more natural than what I was. <laughs> I could not be any more natural than what I was. So I just was, I'm just gonna let it be, you know? So I said to myself, I am going to be, uh, relax, relax, you know? So I went and I'm using this for my, I'm using this for my eyebrows. So I said, you know what? And the color is, what is the color? The color is 501000. No, that is not the color. The color is 382, black brown. So um, I said to myself, well, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna do this, which kind of helped because then I didn't have to do as much editing. <laughs> And we always love that when we're a YouTube channel. So I was like, I'm, you know what? I don't, I'm, it's going to cut down on my editing. I don't have to cut out too much. Um, it's going to be easier on me if I do it this way. And um, so I remember... I remember specifically and I don't know why this even happened I we still can't really figure it out so my father-in-law right one day he calls me up and I really don't pay attention to my videos around that time I just didn't pay attention to my videos to be like oh um how much how many views did I get on here how many subscribes did I get like I didn't really pay attention to that really that much so I really wasn't watching it so it's by like January when I started to notice that YouTube stopped emailing me. I'm like, why are they not emailing me any subscribes? I don't think anybody subscribed to my channel. And I never really took the time to like actually go and look to see. And so I really didn't think anything of it. You know, it's like, I just wasn't thinking about it. And by then I was still, I was working, I was working um, and I was like, well, YouTube just stopped emailing me the subscriber count, you know, like, oh, this person subscribed and that person subscribed. I thought that was strange, but I really didn't pay attention, but I did notice that they stopped. Um, my father-in-law called me up one day and I'm like, oh, okay. Cause he likes... He likes to do this thing that I, I love it. I hope I don't get in trouble for telling this, but he will go to the McDonald's, okay? He will go to the McDonald's and he would order a sweet tea and he will call like either me or my husband. So he'll go, he does this every day. Every day he does this. And so he'll go, he, so he calls me, he says, hey Keish, how you doing? Da, da, da. That's my full name is Lakeisha, he calls me Keish. And um, so he goes, um, a weird thing happened to me the other day. And I was like, what? And he says, hold on a second. Can I get a sweet tea? Yes, yes, yeah, it's me, it's Sal, yeah, yeah. Hi, thank you. And I'm like, are you kidding me, dude? So anyway, so um, he says to me, weird thing happened. I was like, yes, I'm still waiting for the weird thing that happened. Um, he said, uh, your video came up in my feed on, on YouTube. And I was like, mm, that's kind of weird. Are you subscribed to me? And he said, he said, oh yeah, I'm subscribed to you. 
And so I was like, okay, so that's why it's gonna come up. He says, but I was subscribed to you, but then I never really saw your videos. Now all of a sudden, all your videos are showing up here. Like all your videos that you ever did, not just the new ones. And I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. So I thought, so right then and there, that is when I saw, I was like, ooh, that's kind of a sign of, so I'm getting all these signs right and I'm just ignoring them. Pew, pew, whatever, whatever. I don't know what's going on, right? So next thing you know, um, then I started getting these influx of comments and I'm like, what? And that's how the ball of yarn rolled down the hill of what just happened. That's when I looked at my subscriber count. I actually went in the count, went into my studio, looked in there and said, oh my God, I cannot believe that my count is up by like four or 5,000. What happened? So, I went into my YouTube studio and I said, let me go in here and check to see what's going on here. Cause something ain't right. You may be wondering, what the heck are you doing, ma'am? Ma'am, believe me, try it, it works. I don't want to pay for those, um, those little mold things where you hold it up to your eye and make sure you got these little nice deep cuts. I, I don't want to do that. Cause you have to hold it because then you would have to hold it the entire time. And I'm like, not about that life. You just make sure you don't get it on your hair because that hurt. So anyway, so I'm just gonna use these as a template for my eyes. I'm telling you, this is what I did. This is what I did. I'm just re recreating some makeup that I did in the past. All right. And so basically a recap. Oh, you know what else too? This may sound um, controversial, but I'm just gonna say it. Um, it was during like Black Lives Matter and all that. And um, that was going on. So people were looking for black creators. They wanted to see, you know, black people doing something, um, teaching people things. And so that was, one year I like kind of I think in 2019 I said oh I was like oh people are like oh you should show your face you should show your face and I said oh, okay so in the thumbnail so that's number three was it number three number four whatever the next thing I did got I um, made a video people liked I made a video that people needed I was myself in that video I gave them the links to all their all the supplies so that they can do the same exact thing that I did. And number four, I showed my face. Regardless of what you look like, I was I had no makeup on. I didn't really care about what I looked like or whatever. I just didn't really want to show my face. And all my friends were telling me, you really should show your face in the videos. And people who were following me since the very get-go says, you should show your face more. And I was like, hmm, okay. And I think that was the first video, to tell you the truth, I think that was the first video that I actually showed my face. So that's another whole thing. I actually showed my face in a video and I was just like, whatever, I didn't really care. I still don't. But, um, so I showed my face and I put my face on the thumbnail. So that's like five. I showed my face in a video I put my face on a thumbnail. I had a really good thumbnail according to people who say, people who are other YouTubers who do thumbnails, they're like, yeah, that's a good thumbnail. That's a really good thumbnail. And it leaves you, it leaves you hanging. So that thumbnail has got to be important. So it left me hang, it left a person hanging. When they looked at it, it said, 10 things I wish I knew about wire wrapping. What 10 things? Why didn't you list those 10 things on that thumbnail? Some people do it. I'm not going to do that. And so I left them hanging. So what did they do? They clicked on the video and they just got sucked in. I suck you in. I reeled you in. So that's another thing. But um, anyway, that's the gist of it. And guess what? I don't have my makeup on. Cause I like to use my hands when I talk. But um, 
just be yourself that's my biggest pet peeve about people who do videos I'm like oh my goodness you are just so stiff like make a mistake leave the mistake in there you say weird things I even have another video it is um it's how I made that yard wall behind me and I left everything in that like for the most part my husband edited that video and I left everything in there like when I said screws I said schools and I don't know why I left all that in there but just be yourself and that's like my biggest bit of advice that I can give you it's just be yourself so I just primed my eyes I might have got I gotten some everywhere but that's okay okay so now I'm going to use I'm going to use this Sour Patch Morph Morphs Sour Patch thing I mean look at these colors look at these colors amazing but you know I have an I have a confession to make though whenever I see a palette that is directed towards something that's related to pop culture I have to have it so of course you got the Sour Patch Kids and then I ended up buying the Star Wars one Mandalorian look at the colors in this yeah like I gotta be careful because for some reason one of these palettes wants to come out and I'm gonna and I'm going to not allow it to come out so I got this guy then I got this 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 is the one that I regret I'm just going to tell you this right now it was a penny I'm joking it was a pretty penny anyway so um I got this from NYX the um I got the Tetrix palette but it doesn't look it's just not what you're thinking it's it's huge for for no reason that's number one number two the pictures that I've seen they were brighter than this I mean look at this this is like it, it's there's no bright colors in this I hardly ever use this like I'm to the point where I'm about to give it away um hmm what if I give it away do you guys want to do something where I give away this palette? I only use this color right here. And it's the brightest color that's there. I just don't use it. Like, tell me down below if you, if I do a giveaway something or other, would you guys want that as a prize? You let me know. So anyway, anything related to pop culture, I'm all over it. So that's my, that's my biggest issue. So again, I'm using the Sour Patch one. I don't know what colors I'm going to use, but I think that I'm going to stay in this palette. I'm going to mix these colors together because this is what I do. I always do one, two, three colors. Okay, so we're going to do that really quick. So I get three separate brushes, brushes for them. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, the names of these are, are basically the, the flavors of the Sour Patch Kids and then they have this one right here and it's black and it's called All Gone. Y'all. So anyway, I'm going to use, what am I going to use? Alright, so I'm going to do this purple, I'm going to do this really cute purple and then I'm going to do this pink that has a little, I don't know if you see this. Look at that Sour Patch outline. So I'm gonna do this pink and then I'm gonna do this. So I'm kind of gradually getting it. This is gonna be this is gonna be on um, the corner of my eye right here. This is going to be in the middle, and this one's gonna be at the end. Something like that. Use whatever colors you want to. So Let's try that. And so when you prime your eyes, that's what I like about priming because it um, makes the colors look more vibrant.
Not really a red person. Good, it doesn't come up as too bright. Something like that. And I like to take and even brush on to brush onto the tape also so it lets me know that I'm filling in that whole area and when I got it on the tape I know that I am creating that line that we're looking for there we go you know how some makeup artists when they go and they're making doing their makeup and all that stuff and it like it takes forever they're like doing the same thing for like 20 minutes to a half an hour no i'm not i'm not doing that i'm not doing that so i'll go and use my tattoo studio i love my tattoo studio for like um eyeliners brows all that stuff for some reason they do it for me maybelline in that instance does it the best in my opinion and so i'm just using just a it's like blender where i'm just making sure that i'm getting those parts out okay so i'm gonna dry on my eyebrow my um eyeliner real quick i hate this part I think I would have flipped over a table if I did all this and I forgot to put my mic on <laughs> or I forgot to <laughs> forgot to hit record. <laughs> that's that's the life, bro. Let me fill in underneath my brow. And as usual, my eyebrows are not identical, but they are sisters. And that's all that matters. Take a brush. I like this one. I have no idea where I got it from. It has no name on it, so it must have been from Wish. <laughs> and I'm run blending in my eyeshadow so that there aren't any harsh lines. I like it a lot. I think I will keep it. Then, let me get my powder ready because I'm gonna need it. I don't think I told you what powder I was using. I was using this powder. The color is 40 Dark Profond, which is probably in another language. Dark in another language is profond. I don't know what language it is. Okay, get, got my powder ready, finishing powder ready. And I'm gonna take this off. Ooh, makes my face look weird, but it's okay. Okay. Nice little dramatic right here also. And then what I do is I like to take and just a paper towel just Wiping along there real quick. Kind of wakes up my skin. And sometimes I'll even take um, a little bit of 
What color is this? This is the best kind though. Studio Skin 15 hour. Oh, hydrating. So that kind of like takes the hydration, the tape takes the hydration out a little bit in that area. So I just brush a little bit on to hydrate that area because it's like saying, oh my God, I'm dry. Hello. So I want to do that. I'm going to hydrate you. Then I'm going to put some powder, set it. Oof, Lord. There we go. To set it all in. And so of course, all this stuff is going to be available in the description box below. So you can get it for yourself, because you can see how it performs. What I have, and I do this at the very end, after I put all the powder on, and if I find some spots that it, like the powder is not um, covering or you know blurring out, I actually use a blur stick. Maybelline again, I don't know. Me and Maybelline are best friends. Master Blur Stick, and it's just basically universal transparent one. So it's just clear. And all I do with this, cause I feel like there's like a shine. So it just takes the shine away. Like up here, if you see it. And then uh, I always have it right here where I don't want it. And then once I do that, I take a clean, sponge and I just press just press in those areas and it literally blurs out your pores because that's what people are doing nowadays they're blurring out pores and stuff and people are like oh my god you don't have any pores I don't know I don't think people are saying that but I'm just I'm just saying in general blurring out those pores that's how you can tell there's Photoshop when you can't see any pores like a normal person. <laughs> anyway. And always put the caps on your stuff. Because otherwise it won't stay for a long time. It will go bad. And you don't want that. So anyway. This is basically. I don't do too much in the market of contouring. I, I just don't do that. It's just not something that I do here. It's part of it is because I don't really know how, but I know enough. So what I would do, like if I do any type of contouring, because I always thought that my nose looks a little chunky up here, I go and I do this number. I love this thing. I'll be too through if this is Maybelline. No, it's L'Oreal. So I have this little L'Oreal contouring stick. And so infallible. And so I just draw down my nose. Look at that. Even on camera, it looks like what? Dramatic. And so I would do that. If anything, that is not the top. Where does this come from? Oh, okay. And then I would use like a highlighter. This is wet and wild. <laughs> Just like I said, beauty supply, contouring kit, and a highlighter from Walgreens. And then what I do is I come down the middle and I go like that. Look at that. Make myself look like a cat. Cause that's what we do. And I blend that all in. So yeah, that's about it. And then I take
again with these beauty supply makeup things that I get sometimes but listen you put it on and it's good sorry that's from beauty supply don't listen to what I'm saying don't get what I get because you're never gonna be able to find it I'll find you something equivalent um because I do have equivalents ones um I'm just trying to use up my beauty supply crap first before I go and get and use and open up my really good stuff so this is a matte tint yes yeah, a matte tint of some sort and so I just draw that on what so you guys I'm sure you saw the video where I needed a q-tip but have not any no I'm sure you guys saw the video where I said where I said that I am opening up my members platform so you guys can become members and support my channel you want to support the channel too oh my goodness where are your money where's your money pockets he's looking at me like i'm crazy but you know happens to the best of us so you if you want to support the channel you don't know how that's how okay and so it was the join buttons below this video i'm sure if not go to my main channel and it will be at the top of that page it's also in the description box below it's like everywhere so that would really help me out and that is for anybody who wants more from me wants to see more of what i get myself into you know what i'm saying what does that even mean i'm not done with my makeup i thought i was but I am not. This may sound weird. I don't like to um, put any like eyeliner on the bottom of the bottom lid. What I like to do is I like to take a brush and like I bought this like it says Smine um, 02 is the color, but it's the deepest black I can find. And so I just brush this underneath on in my under eye just to fill it in there. So yeah, I just fill it in with black. Not gonna do anything magically crazy. I just using, I got this extra super lash. Oh, Rimmel. Yeah. So it's just black. And I just, you know another, th another tip for putting on mascara that I've learned is that it's not just mom, 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 mom. It's not just that. What it would, what I would do is take the end. If you always pull that out, you see that? See that little goop at the end? I don't like that much, but just enough. So I have that little goop at the end there. So what I do is I rub that end goop on the lashes first. I rub that on the lashes first. I start with my top ones. Make sure you get those ones in the corner now, okay? Don't forget about them. Sometimes people forget about them. Don't forget your corners. And then I take and put it on its side and I go through. I don't move the brush. I, I, I can't say I don't move, at, move it at all, but I don't move the brush really that much. It's mostly me blinking, closing my eyes and passing my lashes through the brush some reason that just works for me so let's do that okay My 
I do that on my bottom ones, but not too much because I can see that. And I would go underneath and twirl it. Underneath, twirl it, and then do the top part. Same thing on the other side. I don't need to stick the thing back in. That's a lot. I got a little happy with it. So I go underneath and I twirl it and then go over the top. And you gotta make sure that your face goes like this. It's important. It's very important. All right, now my makeup is fairly complete. Sometimes I like to go back into my palette. You're okay. I saved it. I saved it. We almost all died. All right, and sometimes I like to go back in my palette and I just go and I do a little refresher because I was doing all that wiping and putting this over here, putting that over there. So I did a lot of that. So I'm just going to refresh certain spots. Okay, and it's red. For some reason, this red is just not agreeing with me, which is okay. It's okay to have a color that doesn't agree with you. And so that is basically what happens to my channel and what happens to my face, okay? Did y'all really think that I was just gonna leave you guys hanging as to how I take all this junk off my face? On an average day, um, I'm either putting on my makeup and then um, doing whatever I need to do. Either I go to work or I um, get on Zoom or do a video, whatever. I usually put my makeup on for that. I do that, it takes me all day and then by the evening time then it's time for me to take my makeup off right um but i'm not ready to go to bed so normally some people when they take off their makeup we're talking about soap water a little bit of this but we, we ain't gonna do all that I'm not even gonna involve water to take my makeup off okay so what i normally do Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put paper towel. I got a roll of paper towels. So I'm going to put a couple paper towels on my table real quick. Okay. So what I'm going to do. So I got some paper towels ready. What I like to do, because I always, I always have like a matte um, I always end up having a matte lipstick on. So first, before I even do anything, I take a little bit of aqua four and I put that on my lips. Okay. Because soap and water ain't going to take this off. I'm just saying. So I put that on. I let that sit. Okay. I just let that sit. I have extra on the edge. Ugh. So then I take either I take some aqua four, depending on how much I have in there, because aqua four is kind of expensive, or I take some almond oil, which is a very light oil. And I put that in my hand. Yeah, it's a very light oil. And if you don't like a light oil, then use a heavier oil like cast oil. So I take that and I just rub it on my face. Look at that. Look at how it's breaking down the makeup. So I would be careful not to, um, I try my best not to get any in my eye. And I can always tell how it's working because you feel and you can see the color coming off onto your hands. So it means that you 
it is working okay so i'm going to do one side of my face see how it's melting off my face okay Look at that. It's already like really legitimately just melted off my face. Then I take a paper towel and then I wipe my face. Not very hard, just enough for us to get it off. All right, so that's how I get it off. Other, now I'm gonna do the other side. I have to do one side at a time because I wanna make sure that this side is good when it comes to like getting oil in my eye. So I wanna make sure that it's all good in the hood, okay? to rub my eyelashes between my fingers without getting too much in my eye because this, this is very light and you can always tell it's coming off in clumps and the reason why I do this is because Cleansers are so harsh for my skin. Like my skin would literally just dry out every time I would go and I'm like, oh, let me go take, take off my makeup and wash it with soap and water, deep cleansing it off and all that stuff. It is not, it is not fun for me because my skin is just like would, oh, it would feel horrible by the next day so what I would do is I would do this and I would do it um, not harshly you know with not like rubbing too much on my skin so after I do that right I got the majority of the makeup off And I can always tell because my spots are there. So then I take another paper towel because I've been mushing this in my lips for a bit. And then I just wipe this off. It may not come off in one sitting. So I'll do it again. Okay. All right. So after I do that, what I would do is I'll take over my whole face as I'm waiting for this to melt off my face i might even do one more really thick swatch of it now i'm going to do my whole face i can't talk during that just 
should have got paper towel ready, but I didn't. And sometimes I like to open my eyes just to see how much came off my paper towel, and it's really not that much. And it's not a lot coming off. I'm not rubbing very hard, so that helps. So this is the paper towel. It's really not that much that came off the second time around. And there you have it. So I'm gonna do one more wipe on my lips and for the most part, it is off. And so I might do the aqua four, but for the majority of the evening because I'm not ready to go to bed so I'm just putting the aquaphor on there so I can sit on my lips and basically that is my routine and basically that's my routine for when I still have a little bit of the day left and um, my day is not over um, and I still have to cook dinner and everything. I don't want my face to be burning off because I use a harsh cleanser. And so what I would do is I would cook my dinner, do whatever I need to do, watch a movie. And then when I'm about to go to bed, I would use my CeraVe and um, cause it's very, very light. It's a very, very light um, hydrating um, facial cleaner and it also doesn't foam up like a lot where it's just like really thick foam you know you could tell it's really stripping your skin it does not strip my skin at all which I think is pretty awesome and that's what I need so you know if it's still more to my evening this is what I will do to get my makeup off and I don't have to drown and water in the bathroom sink. I mean, I don't know how everybody else does it, but this just works for me. And so yeah, and that's my face. It's not dry, overly dried out. So it's sucking in all this very light oil, which is gonna help it because my skin just is just so dry. So it kind of works out for the better. Anyway, back to your regular schedule program. I'll put in the description box below as many links as I can to this stuff. As many links as I can to my videos. And as I mentioned, I have the members now that you guys can join to support me in the crazy that I do. And hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and be kind to other people. Be kind to yourself. What else? Be kind to puppies. Be kind to puppies. That's important too. It's trying to kill me. Um, as usual, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm never doing this again with people in the house. <laughs> Ever. <laughs>